Hey everybody, welcome back to Black Magic Porkery, brought to you by our sponsor that I definitely forgot to call out at the beginning of the last episode. I'm skating on thin ice with the like button, okay? So make sure that you check out the like button below the video so that it still wants to sponsor me. It's, click on it. It's very important. I don't want to lose it again. Also, check out the Fallen Kingdom server. Newly updated, play.fallenkingdom.co, Minecraft Java 1.16. You can copy-paste the IP from the description or just type it in. And 1v1, 2v2 PvP people do more path editing. Check out musical-related things and secret Easter eggs that'll be fully added at the next update. There's just so much stuff going on. Okay, cool. Anyway, let's start off with number 19. Lighting a frozen fire pit. put a lighter like in in that opening that you've done there and then and then the whole thing is just gonna melt instantaneously it's gonna be so cool. oh that's really cool how quickly does it melt i can't believe it's not fully melted i would have thought that it would melt super super fast and wait isn't it it's gonna melt then and wouldn't that like put out the flame but i guess if maybe it's a gas powered fire in which case it'll like it won't put out the flame, but you'd think if you had a bunch of snow and water on it, it's not melted yet. Isn't fire really hot? Shouldn't it melt faster than it is? How is the snow surviving? This is some really tanky snow. I'm very impressed. Like, how is it still there? And if you like dipped your hand in it, would it feel cold or would it feel hot? Or would it just even out? You should do it. Why didn't you put your hand in there? Why didn't you just hold your hand in there, see how it feels? It'd probably get pretty hot. I wanna know. Why isn't it just immediately water? Bleed and frost effect. Is this the... I'm pretty sure this is the thing that... I don't know if it's actually what it is in this situation, but... I mean, that's pretty cool. But it's like you can splash yourself really quickly with liquid nitrogen, and it... Because it's so cold, it like creates a, you get a barrier essentially of like water vapor that protects your face. Please don't splash yourself in the face with liquid nitrogen. I feel like every time I mention this, I have to kind of give that disclaimer. Just don't splash yourself in the face with liquid nitrogen. But in theory, you do that. Or if you like really quickly just dunk your hand into it, you wouldn't actually come in contact because you'd get this layer of like condensation that would occur around your hand in order to protect you or something like that. And maybe that's what's happening here is you get in like a layer of water vapor that's kind of isolating that water from the rest of the pan, which is really hot. It would, I, I don't know, I would, whatever, maybe something like that, cool science. Where's the wall? Is this, is this real or is this a, an optical illusion photo? Is this a real thing? Oh my god, I can't tell. Is it a drawing? I want to believe it's a drawing, but I don't know. Or is it just, like, is this just the side of a building? I think it's just the side, but they... But that means that the door is literally, like, raised off of the ground. Which seems very inconvenient to get, to get into. Or it's just... Or this is just a flat facade that was created for the sake of the illusion. Or it's just digital art and I can't figure out which one and it, if it's digital okay I get it if it's if it's real I'm I don't know but then it's like oh god the outside lines up with the floor tiling on the inside yeah, I don't I don't know non-spherical rolling objects oh these all have names old does it just go forever oh that actually makes sense because if you look at it from the side Right, it's, it's circular. A lot of these, I think, they're just circular. If you look at them, do they just keep going, or is that a slanted table? Have we discovered perpetual motion? That's really incredible. I can't believe it took us this long, but we finally were able to discover perpetual motion. Doesn't matter if there's friction on the table, they'll just keep moving forever. It's cool, though. They're like, the first one, where it goes and, like, slants in different directions, it just looks like the thing is, like, morphing. Even though it's probably, it's a static object. That one's also... Just looks like something you'd find in Toy Story. It just moves around and has a really high-pitched voice. And I don't know if it's it's probably it's probably a good a good guy. It plays a minor role in whatever plan they're trying to hatch inside a Toy Story. It just kind of flops around on the ground, but then does some really important thing that saves everybody. This is what alpha radiation looks like in a cloud chamber. I have, have no idea what I'm seeing. Are these the actual like radiation 
photons that are they're just pinging all over the place. Like that's that's what they are. It's like you're seeing tracer rounds, but for radiation. But aren't they moving at the speed of light? So how do you see the how do you see the trails develop if the particles themselves are moving at the speed of light? That's what I want to know. Also, it's just the thing about radiation that's terrifying is it's literally just like little mini bullets. That's all it is. That's why it, that's why it's bad for you is because it's just really high energy little mini bullets that just go through you and demolish everything. So I'm sure it's slightly more complicated than that, but a ba but a basic thing is like they're just moving real fast and they just 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 destroys things. Not sure if it's been posted, but the water appears to levitate due to a strobe light out of sync with the dripping water. I think something has been posted like this before. The cat is so confused. <laughs> it's like, I don't normally interact with water, but when I do, it's only because it's not obeying the laws of physics, and I don't actually think it's water, and I have to investigate and find this out. I like how even the cat realizes that something's up here. Even the cat knows that water only goes, it only goes down. Why is it going up? This doesn't make any sense. I have to investigate. I don't know what I'm going to find about it, but I'm going to investigate anyway. So we'll get to the bottom. I mean, the top of this. Definitely. Forkering. That's a new word. A potato into a net. God. How many times do you have to mess that up before you're able to do those flourishes? You're just like come on man you're just doing that to show off that's not even the point this the title wasn't even about your knife flourishes it was about the potatoes let's how do you chop the potato that finely the potato still looks the same wait oh now it's coming wait did he see alternating the cuts somehow and it's going to be like an accordion how do you alternate the cuts how do you do cuts so tightly and then is it still together yeah no it's still of course it is how did he alternate the cuts? I don't understand. How did he make it so that the cuts on the bottom were here and the cuts on the top were perfectly 50% and then and then just, okay. Yeah, no, that's totally. Or maybe that's not how it works. I have no idea. I guess he's only cutting halfway through the thing and then he cuts it halfway through on the bottom and then it just, but it's so evenly spaced. I'm glad he didn't chop his hand off. Four people in this photo. Nope, still only, still only see, nope, there's still only three people. I don't see, I don't see a fourth. Nope, definitely not there. I have no idea what you're talking about. Camouflage? No, it's invisible. It's not actually, he's not, there's still only three people here. The inter the, the funny part is, <laughs> if this was posted in, not, not with the purpose of the photo being the camouflage, which is right over here in case you still can't see it, then all of the comments would be, I only see three people. There's no fourth. It's like, you know, when you when someone posts a photo of a car that's wrapped in camo wrap, they're like, what car? That's the, that's always the top comment. So anyway, I, effective camouflage. It's Rope Man again. There's every time now, dude, there's another one from Rope Man, dude. This trick used to be done in ancient Egypt. Brownie, unhappy face. He's not doing a rope thing though. It's different this time. What? This man's able to fit his shameless self-promotion into the middle of his magic routine, which I couldn't even talk about because I was so intently focused on what was going on. I couldn't even track where the balls were going or if they were appearing in places that they shouldn't have because it was just going too fast. And then the oranges appeared and I was like, oh, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> where did the, whoa, where did the, oh, okay. Where did the four oranges come from? Were they in there the whole time? Were the oranges under the cups? And then he was able to just, you know, loosen his grip on them. And then he like, he tightened his grip, it lifts up and the oranges doesn't fall out. And then it's, 
I don't know. I have no idea. One of my favorite routines to perform. No music, stop this. Okay, my view and my spectator's view. Oh, this is cool how you can see. Oh, wow, this is cool. Except I'm still gonna be highly confused. Like, am I even gonna be able to see? Maybe the whole point of this is to show that it doesn't even matter whichever view you have. You're still not gonna be able to figure out what he's actually doing. It's not even based on angles. And then it's too, okay. Is he gonna turn that into another queen of hearts? That's, uh, that's five queens of hearts, dude. That's way too, you, you're not supposed to have that many in a, in a deck. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure you're actually only supposed to have one queen of heart in the deck, right? Is he now gonna convert him back into? I think we got a lot of beardy magic dudes out there now, between TikTok and Instagram. Lots of lots of beardy magic going on. <laughs> that must be the thing, dude. Maybe it suits you to have a beard as a magician because you can like hide something behind it. If it's super long, you can, like stick a card back there and then you pretend you're scratching your beard in the middle of the routine, but really you're like pulling out of the card and then you palm it and then you bring it into the thing. Or you can hide a, an orange behind it and then sneak it into a cup somehow. Glitch found, please reboot the system. Is it, is it like so windy that the plane is not actually moving at all? Is it actually that windy or is it just an optical illusion and it's like far enough away that it looks like, it's definitely moving forward e even within the frame. I just don't know if it's because of the wind. All the explanations below are wrong. This isn't perspective or stalling or anything like that. This is indeed near an airport. It's an installation designed to scare off wild aircraft from. <laughs> Dang it. You had me going there for a second. <laughs> All right. Mm. Alcohol vapor in a bottle. You can light it on fire and then it's gonna, yep. Always, always fire and then it does that thing. And then it does the like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I still, I wanna do this, dude. I wanna do this. What do you, you must let, you pour alcohol in and then you probably just kinda let it, you swirl it around, pour out the excess, and then it's still gonna have some vapor in there. And you just light it and then it does the, does cool things. I kinda wanna try this myself. I wonder if it makes any, like, cool noises to go along with it. Turn your phone or screen upside down to melt your brain. What if I'm not on my phone? Oh no, I don't like this. It is, it's the same. It is the same. Both way, it's the two, the two and the three, they're, they are the same. Oh, that is really trippy, but you just can't. Okay, now I can see it. Now I'm seeing it both ways. You look at it enough, and now I can see the two, and I, I can see the two here, and I can see the three here. You just gotta, you just gotta invert your brain, or invert your eyes inside of your brain. If you just, you know, you gotta be skilled enough to be able to, to do it. I'm very skilled. Let's play badminton. Oh, it's going against the wind? That's great. Man, I love playing badminton. There was a, we in PE, in middle school, we had a, a session on badminton where we were all doing badminton for like a couple weeks. That was my favorite session in the entirety of PE. And in PE in middle school, some of the people at least still kind of cared about trying to have fun. When in high school, as soon as you got to PE, like nobody cared at all. And it was just like people would sit around even if the teacher was trying to get them to do games and stuff and just be like, no, I'd rather sit and not do anything. I was like, man, can we go back to elementary school when everyone was so excited? to do sports in PE, it was so much fun. And then it became cool to not care. It sucked. Badminton was great. Pure witchcraft. Nope, stop this. Cease with the music. Uh, we've seen something like this before, but I feel like this time it's gonna be, it's gonna be another thing. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be another one. I don't, what are they, what, what's the image gonna be? Oh my God. It's a, it's, it's a lucky block. How do you even, how do you even like engineer that and know where to draw the lines in order to make that happen? I just, I don't understand. Can they visualize this or do they have some sort of like, they model it on a computer and then from that they know where to draw after the fact? I just don't understand. 
Oh, and the top! For the last month, I've achieved unlimited power. I'm confused what's going on. Wireless gas? Wait, what? Wait, why is it going? You have a gas leak in your house? Why is your house not exploding right now? I can't tell, like, is the person genuinely confused and concerned as to what's going on? Or is this actually like a, a, a miniature gas storage thing and he's pretending that it's act, it attaches to the, the thing below it? I, I have to imagine that the cap sor stores some amount of the gas. Otherwise, this wouldn't work unless there's a bunch of gas in the surrounding room, in which case it'd probably just explode, right? Or maybe we can wirelessly teleport gas via quantum entanglement or something like that. This is quantum entanglement. It's just the, the the way they did it. The first thing it was to power a grill. That was the first application. Anyway, that's it for the last month of Black Magic Porkery. Make sure to like if you liked. Uh, subscribe here if you're not already. Hit the bell even if you are and check out the playlist for more Black Magic Forkery. You can check the last Black Magic Forkery by clicking up here with the end screen and uh, the latest Mary music upload down below that. Check out play.fallenkingdom.co, the like button, and uh, that's it. I'll see you next time.